it is finally time to buy a full set of new golf clubs. And here he is. Gaz, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Guys, it's time. You're finally there. You might laugh, guys, because I know I'm a bit of a club pervert and I'm always swapping clubs, but I am this year going to do it properly and get master fitted throughout the full bag. And it's interesting because I've we've been talking about clubs like this for a very long time. The PXGs for me, they're absolutely killing it this year with the 0317 range. I thought you might go 0317Ts, the hollow bodies. Well, that's what got me looking at PXG. You lent me a set of rounds. I took them to Pakistan for two weeks and I fell in love with them. Yeah. So that's what's got me looking at PHG, and I booked in for a fitting to go and, and have some fitted. And you brought the CB and the STs for me to try today. Well, not only that, so it's a split set of CB and ST, but also I know you've got your heart set on driver, and yeah. I think I think PHG as a whole make the best best overall bag of 2024. I really do. Well, I've got to agree in terms of fitting. I think they're the most adjustable clubs and easiest for fitters to sort of like you know fine tune with the amount of weight ports that they have. Yeah. And you know I've been doing a lot of fitting videos on my channel. And swing weight so important, guys, and you can really manipulate with PXG golf clubs. Yeah. Because in every club, even your irons, even your wedges, you've got an interchangeable weight. So, um, so we're going to have a match today here at Wood Park Golf Club, take on a few holes, that was brand new but now it's nice and battered, <laughs> uh, and we'll just talk about how, what you might think you're going to go for, yeah. what, you, what you think you probably will end up going for, and I can't wait for you to try these as well, what's under these head covers, because I, I think it. these are a little bit of a dark horse this year, Yeah. so I'll let you tee off first mate, anyway we've got 140 yards into the wind on a par 3. 140, I'm probably going to, well, I'm probably going to go 8, I had the right Look at the up. state of these clubs, I apologise for the state of those wedges, but um, what are we playing for? Well, we, how many holes are we going to do? Handful. Handful, um, we'll play for a brew then. A brew? It's Thursday, we'll play for a pint. <laughs> All right. I tell you what, I've not considered the uh, the MB iron, which they call the ST. I but, don't know why they call it the ST, I find that odd. But but the top line, it doesn't actually look Oh, like, mate, they're gorgeous. It looks yeah. like a CB front top, yeah, but, but front back it looks like a blade. Yeah, the split setness is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, that looks so solid for a, for an MB. So I'm going to have to call it MB, I'm old fashioned. Yeah, I, you know what, I would as well. <laughs> Hit it, wind. That's a little Hit bit it. left. It's coming in. Yeah, probably just left of the green. Yeah. Very strong flight, though. I like that. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I mean, yeah. if I was going to go PXG, I think I would go T. 0317T. Well, they're but, the ones I borrowed off you, mate, and I yeah. fell in love with them. Come on, let's, let's have him. Hit it, wind. Hit it, wind. Come on. Similar line. Yours might be a touch better. Yeah. I think we both missed the green though. Very friendly. Yeah. Mine was a little bit better as we yeah, said, you but yeah, you've just done me. Both, uh, both stopped nicely. Now, when it comes to wedges, I put the Vokies in the bag. You can tell being filming all day because they're a little bit muddy. But realistically, is there much better on the market than them? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've not tried PXG Sugar Daddy wedges, so I couldn't really say. I mean, they're. They're very expensive sugar daddies, aren't they? They are, and I'm almost a little bit disappointed with the SM10s this year. Not because they're bad wedges, but they're just, I think they're just a bit boring. I've got to, got to disagree, mate. I think that's such a nice finish. Yeah, I don't know. I, the, I, I don't know, know if I got mean. the wrong finish in them, but I think if it, were, if it were like a raw finish, then maybe. But to me, they don't, they don't really do it. Yeah. Right, so you can both get up and down. That's a lovely strike. That spun really quickly oh, for you. I just sat down. <laughs> Too much spin. Crap these wedges. <laughs> you changing the putter? I'm going to go with my own putter. No, no for a new no, one. No, 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 no intention on changing that at a minute. Ooh. Solid. Solid. Could be a quick one up for Robinson here. So how excited are you at the prospect of going kind of proper deep for new clubs. Is that good, by the way? I'm so excited. Yeah, that's good. I'm so excited because I've never really had a master fitted set of golf clubs. You know, I think working in industry, we sometimes sell fit. Um, we're always looking for a bargain, you know, best value. This time I'm going for best performance only. Budget out the window. Yeah. Um, and I've never done that, but I think this is the year to do it. I'm getting to play a lot more golf now, so I don't want to leave myself any excuses 
That's a big one. That is a big one. Well done, mate. People on my channel know this is a secret weapon. It doesn't miss. Oh dear. He's on one putt. <laughs> so? No, I'm just saying. Every time me and Gary play, he just gives me a little bit of something just to put in black and white and keep throwing over. So it doesn't miss, apparently, that guys. One could last for years. Though. It could. It could. It We've got miss. quite a few. We've got quite a few. Um, right. So drivable par four. We're now going to talk big dog. I oh. I got fitted for this, and I honestly love it. I really, really like it. I've been torn between the tall head and the standard head, I think it's going to be the tall head, just because it looks so much nicer. And we play golf yeah. for enjoyment, we need to enjoy it. What loft is that on internally? Is it set lower or no, is it No, it's set 10.5. Is it 10.5? Well, you'll be surprised because it still launches as you want it to with low spin. This is getting some big, big reviews into it. You know, but I think rightfully so, because it well. is good. I mean, obviously that shaft is an upgrade, yeah. but for me, I think it works really nicely. Well, I've not tried it yet, but there's been a lot of YouTubers test it and review it, and it's it's doing fantastic that is perfect that is the line that is on it mate that is the line show them that strike mark out the middle guys that's what i like about that you do get quite a lot of feedback yeah it's good that one you're in trouble there we're gonna need a big bird oh it's gone left on me that's long that as well sit yeah, you're all right. It's short of the crap. You're That's all right. Amazing. It was never going out of bounds, was it? What did you have it weighted by? Can you remember your weight? I can. It's up? got uh, a heavier weight in the heel. Heel. So for me, because my bad shot. So you've got it draw then, ain't you? Yeah, yeah. Because my bad shot just peels a bit too much at the moment. So yeah. got it set on draw. And again, that's something where if you go for fitting, it's not going to make a world of difference, but it does make a bit of a difference. Yeah. Right. If that was any longer, mate, you'd be in trouble. It would have. I'm would just have on the trouble. front edge of the green there, so. Shows how much into the wind we are. It's done well, that though. Yeah. Hopefully a two putt birdie. And on we eat son. There's definitely one in here. 96. Do you feel comfortable enough to play with one of those little wedges or would you just go Vokey? I'm going to go Vokey, 56. You're Vokey man, aren't you, in the bag? Yeah, I'm all Vokey. Um, I've got my mind on these SM10s as well in this finish. I think it's so I've upset you saying the boring, haven't I? I think, <laughs> I think I, honestly, though, the raw finish looks so much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. I mean, you can get raw, can't you? Wedge works, but yeah. it's more expensive. Hit it, wind. I knew that was going to be short. Sure. I just didn't commit to no, it. Well, to yards. be honest, I thought the shot there was like a chippy 50, not yeah. a full 56 from 90 yards out the, out the sludge isn't, isn't the shot. I think but. it's because I carry 58, 54, so I had a bit of 54, but... Yeah. Anyway. Right, I'll have that, and I'll uh, try and chip in for a Stephen on screen now. What's a Stephen? Stephen Seagal, eagle. <laughs> shot. Do you want to put a mark on that? <laughs> he wants it, doesn't he? I'm not giving it to you. Don't give it to me. You can get lost. See if we can have a world there. Interesting that the putter's safe. What do you mean safe? In the bag. <laughs> yeah, They well, never misses, does it? It doesn't miss. I've been putting well with it, I've got to say. I'm not saying I'm going to knock this in, but it doesn't miss. I have knocked silly putts in recently, longer than this. Tell you what, oh, it looked all right for a minute. It did, it's, uh, it's a dead sheep. I'll let you knock yours in for birdie. No, it's all right, you go. Are you sure? It never misses that, does it? It doesn't miss. You just, yeah, that's should, what you're waiting for. I should now. almost give it you, really. How do you want the flag? I'm going to save this one, uh, take it out. I'm not that worried about this one. No, I mean, this is for, mine's for birdie, this is for par, isn't it? So, but if it never misses. It doesn't miss. Be a shame to see that on black and white first hole. <laughs> it doesn't miss. Great putt. Well, you still need it, buddy. It's still got to hit the back of that hole. I'd hate to see you miss. <laughs> <laughs> it were never going to miss. These pins are beautiful, aren't they? 
textual. It's like a graphite design. I want some stickers that say yeah. Pro Launch. <laughs> yeah. One up. Right. One up. Uh, and this could be, I think it's drivable because we're on a Ford Winter T. So yeah. the big dog, as we know, is awesome. Now, wait till you try that. The little dog. Because I know, have you, are you potentially in the market for one of those as well? Is that an Ops, that? Yeah, Black I'm Ops. Definitely in the market for a Fairway Wood, yeah. Do you want to hit this thing? Because I think yeah, you might yeah, get there. Definitely. I'll let you go first. And then I'll let you drive to the Why green. Why have you got a smile on your face? Because I, I know that you have, I know, I know that you've tried these. <laughs> and you're trying to play it down. Oh, don't do stop that. You've just had a new tooth. I know, I know. I've got to get out of that. I've got a bad habit. That is minging. You say I've tried them right. I think there's a lot in the weight positioning on these. Yeah. If you've got these set draw bias, that is... No, that's not draw bias. Is it not? That's just neutral, yeah. You know what I like about it, though? When they do it, you don't know what weight's where. So that's There's true. not like a big plaster saying, oh, by yeah. the way, it's... Such and such also a fitter. Also, the adapter, you can't tell what it's set as, can you? No. Which, again, I think is I think's good. Until you actually take the head off. Oh, nice. It's leaking a bit. Stay there. Yep. So it's flag high, you're just chipping up the green then. Yeah. Well, at least I've missed it on the right side. Yeah, you don't want to go left. All right, I'm just going to fade one in off. That left bunker. Shot. T's gone. They're going to be quite similar, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yours were just a bit higher than mine. A chip off. Right. Right. Two very similar to each other. Short of it, actually. So it shows how strong the wind was potentially back there and how weak our efforts were. Short game challenge. Up and Don't down for birdie short. still. Nice. Spin. Oh. Is that a little bit longer? Is that good? A little bit longer. I didn't want to leave it short. I think no. I did that a bit, bit more. Short's not the one, is it? Anything inside your ball's a good shot. Picked up well. Thereabouts. I think yours is closer, you know. Didn't have the spin. Yeah, just two safe, solid shots there. What are your thoughts on these SM10s then, if that's what you've got your heart set on? Uh, I think you probably hit the nail on the head by saying they're a bit boring, they haven't changed much. I think SM9, I mean, just save yourself the money and go SM8 even. Well, I've got SM9s, haven't I? And I tell you what, I did do some light for light comparisons and these ones do um, start a little bit further right at target. Oh, right, okay. It's something to do with the grooves. Yeah. The way that they've changed the depth of the grooves throughout. Yeah. But they've noticed the pattern of people missing the greens left, you know, with shorter shots because yeah. they don't clear the body so well. Yeah. So for, I don't know how they've done it, but they do actually start further right. I think if you're looking at wedges, which, I think the me. mill grind fours are probably some of the best. I think my golf spy agree there as well. They are fantastic. And I think the Mizuno T20, the one with the kind of groove in the back, I think that for a lob wedge is unbelievable. I'm looking forward to trying sugar daddy to know what, you know, they're like nearly double the price of a Voki, aren't they? Yeah. So I wonder why, like more why? spin, maybe more control. Is it? Is it just their marketing? I would say it's probably adjustability. They can fine tune it more to you, but yeah. we'll find out. Obviously. So you can get different flight windows. Yeah. I'd love for one of your subscribers to actually get in comments if they've got the Sugar Daddy wedges or if they've tested them. Yeah. And what do they actually think? Because for someone to bite the bullet on them at that price, I can't imagine many people have Sugar Daddy wedges but don't have PXD irons. Yeah. I bet it's... That's very true. A bag filler, almost. <gasps> Stay up. Oh, you... I thought you got it. Very positive. Yeah, I fancied it, actually. Missed to go back to level, and that putter never misses. It doesn't miss. Big putt. Huge putt. It doesn't miss. Oh, I've not hit it well. <gasps> oh. It doesn't miss. I caught it a bit toy, I'm not going to lie. Pick it does up. miss. That's confident. I know you'd have called it if it would have missed. Too confident for my liking. Still one up. Okay, par four, dog leg to the left. And this is the club I've been most looking forward to trying. 
the one you get an exceptional review, the hybrid. Yeah, I quite enjoy it. I mean, I'm looking forward to testing it against the £99 PHG hybrid that we got in the offer, if you remember last year. Yeah. But for forgiveness and ball speed around the face, I, I find it really, really good. Yeah. I mean, that's the key for me because I like to use it off the tee, so I like to hit it hard. Yeah. So knowing that it's got that forgiveness for off-centre strikes is so, you know, refreshing. Right, really, here we go. Big moment. It is. I'm going to have to go a little bit over at corner. Could be game over if you lose this one. I'm going to go at that bush and try and hit a little bit of draw. Should have the height. That's not the shot. I don't know if I've managed to get the honour. I'm sorry. It's all right, mate. Ready goal. It's game on. I mean, I'm... That's A1. It is, actually. I'm, I'm amazed, because that's not the shot in anyone's head. No, it's not, but it is when you're trying to win a match. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I could put that in the bag now without yeah. a fit. Well, it's interesting, because when I got fitted, I got fitted for the KBS shafts in both the fairway wood and the driver. But then with that, we actually decided on that, and that's similar to the shaft, you know, that comes in the Costco driver. I'd imagine that's a stock shaft, yeah, isn't it? Is, no yeah, it is, yeah. That felt lovely, that. Oh, he's going free wood. Free wood. You went free wood on the last, so I'm going to go with it here. Because you see, I always find a three wood easier to turn over. Sure. <laughs> How have you got that up there? That carried the lot. That's insane. That was further left than I wanted, but that's actually the tiger line. I'll carry this, mate. You're all right. What are you? Do you play with these clubs? Are they in the bag a bit then? Yeah, I'm still testing. So I've tested today. I actually tested the Cobra uh, Dark Speed LS fairway wood. Yeah. Uh, driver, I'm pretty much set on. I don't know if it's going to be the t probably the normal one over the tour. I think just because yeah. you like the idea of the tour, don't you? But realistically, yeah. the the normal one's low spin enough, yeah. and you get that element of forgiveness as well. And the, the head looks looks fine. So probably that. Yeah, quite like them. Right. Tiger line, yours? Yeah, 74 yards. And I'm going straight at it. Got to start going aggressive. That's such a crap wedge shot. Where's it going? It's a oh, well. put, but it's just... Terrible camera work from me. Mine's down here to the left. It's not that bad. It's probably tour average from that distance. My zoom was a bit hopeful because I was thinking you might knock it closer, but <laughs> it wasn't to be. I've got a 50 degree. I'm going to try and pump this up and let it release out. Should break right to left. Now release. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> That's where the Vokies are good, you know, for that kind of shot. Yeah. I almost feel like a Steve Stricker kind of. I just feel as though, like, Bob Voke, you know, specialized, you know, such a wedge specialist, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've I've been really lucky to meet Bob Voke when we reviewed the SM8s and get fitted for me, and I think they're fantastic, but I just think, where's, I don't know, I don't know, I, probably me just getting a bit bored of it, really. I think that's what it is, I think, like, you know, when you've got a product that works, you don't need to change it much, but then at, at some point, it, it, it loses ground on rest, doesn't it? I would have loved them to say, you know what, we're sticking with SM9. Yeah and just stick, stick that at the same price. But they do guarantee every time they bring a new product, it's better. Yeah. That one worked nicely for me, though. I'm pleased with that. Could be for the match, that. I'm not enjoying that range. You're in territory, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, yours never misses, though, does it? It doesn't miss. I feel like I've got to all this now, just keep you quiet. It don't miss outside 10 feet. It doesn't miss. Is that good? It doesn't miss, does it? It doesn't miss. <laughs> it was good. In or out? Uh, pop it out, mate. What's small, that hole? Is it? Uh, it doesn't miss. He's back on it. Do you want to play the par three or are you not bothered? Yeah, let's play it. <laughs> let's play it. I want to have another smack with these irons. Yeah. Right, guys, two up with one to play. So some people might say that's a win, but we're going to play the par three anyway. 
Gaz is honestly thinking about putting these in the bag. He's going for fitting next week. So the whole point of this video was to test them out. What are your thoughts so far? A lot of it's been wedges, actually. And I think that's a big, big moment for what people actually have in the bag because your wedges are so important, aren't they, when you're playing golf and you're yeah. scoring. I mean... It's hot, that, mate. Just put the cover on for us. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I'm really excited because I just know how fittable this product is. Um, I feel it doesn't as go in there. It doesn't does fit, it mate, does it? Well, let's just... Come on, you all right? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get that bleeding well, You can through. carry it as well. Sorry, I don't know what you want to say here. <laughs> I think um, in terms of PXG, it's a product that I'd never looked at because of, because of the price point of it. Yeah. Um, but I think obviously these days, even the most premium stuff's more available. I know it's still expensive, yeah. but it's more affordable, sorry, should I say. I think, yeah, like definitely. And for me, if you look at how much a set of new ping irons cost, the PXGs are pretty similar. Like, yeah. the, so the PXGs with a normal shaft in them are around £1,200, which is around the same price as the pings. And the driver is no more than a ping driver. Yeah. Same price point. So we can say it's expensive, but it's on par with rest. And it is expensive. With, with the rest of the, yeah, exactly, the yeah. other brands now. Yeah. And the real question people want to know is how long are these ones going to last? Because as we all know on the channel, Gary changes his golf clubs more than a lot of people change the pants. I'm sorry. I know we can say this, but a lot of stuff I've had in bags being self-fitted. It's been bought through value over performance this is going to be i'm not going to buy this product if it doesn't outperform what i've got right so it's not like a fitting where i'm just going to get the full lot but we know you're going for a new because you've told me you're getting a full set you you've told you've told me and in the middle of april we're going to do a what's in the bag with gaz and i bet out of the 14 clubs that are in there now 12 of them are different <laughs> i'm not going to lay any money on that i think the putter's safe might even 13 of them might be different. I'm not going to put any money in it because I don't know, but potentially. Well, it's back, it's flags at the back, it's about 140. Middle of the green, safe enough. I'll tell you what, if I do end up with a full bag of PXG, I'm going to have you a match against your fitted PXG and yeah. my fitted PXG. Right. And we'll have a proper match. If. If. That could be in. Oh, it's just over bunker. Good if it's there. Good line. Right, guys. Are we double the quits in or not? <laughs> well, we can if you want. I'll take that. You've not had a good day, have you? Not had the best. Right, Needs these new clubs quick. Let's roll her in. It never misses this. It doesn't miss. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a good pace. That's an excellent putt. Ah. Good three. Chris has made an appearance. Spectating. Just walking out for it. Just for the last hole. Big game. Yeah. He's already lost, actually. <laughs> no way. Oh, no. That is dirty. It doesn't miss. So now that's like five losses today, isn't it? Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed that, smash that subscribe button below. We've just handed your ass to you again, haven't we? <laughs>